Drew's RC shack here. Uh, not with an RC boat today. Got the Addictor 190. We need to do a little maintenance on her. Um, I haven't replaced the propeller shaft seals. Um, the previous owner said that should probably be done soon. I've been just topping off the oil. You can see it over here. I'll check it about every other time and add some, but it's been cloudy and milky. So I think it's finally time to start busting into that task. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. I've never done it. So you guys are gonna come along for the ride. I got a couple seals here, these little boogers. Uh, I've also got a lower leg seal kit eventually. I'll do that, replace the impeller. As I understand it, that's also pretty important. Um, so the first things first, I'm gonna drain the old oil out of there. Took an old Gatorade can, cut that, made a little plastic or cardboard shield down here to uh, keep it off this gravel. So let's see what we got. I'm just gonna stick that down there. Guys, use a good big flathead screwdriver when you're taking these fill and drain plugs out. That way you don't strip them or mangle them. You want to remove them both because if you don't remove the top one it'll act like a capped straw and it won't want to drain it looks like it's wanting to come out of there i added some yesterday so it should be pretty pretty full i can see some water coming out already in there there we go oh yeah see it's real milky there's a lot of water in there let me go ahead and take this top one out as well oh there it comes see there it comes it's a lot of start to lose a lot of oil out through the propeller shaft and water can of course get in as well and to keep the bearings and gears inside in good shape you don't want a water and oil mixture so it's still draining pretty good I've been using these star bright products over here for the two cycle oil um, just got a thing of gear lube got the little pump um, works great and i also have a grease gun it's nice to be able to grease the various fittings on your outboard motor you know this thing's 35 years old so i figure the more maintenance savvy i am with it the longer i can keep it kicking um, super impressed with how she's running though just runs like a top. All right. So I'm just gonna keep letting that drain. I'm just gonna keep this cup like that. It's about halfway full. Okay, so I've already removed the pin from the propeller shaft. Uh, you can see down in there, I'm gonna remove the nut, the washer. I got a new prop coming on the way. This is a Michigan, oh, I forgot what the, Michi Michigan Advanced System or something like that. Michigan prop, uh, it's a 10 and 1 8 by 13 pitch. It's been working good. I also ordered a four blade. All right, there comes the prop. There we go. Yeah, things are looking a little worn in there. So I'm gonna put that over here. Along with the nut and the washer. 
here. So we're gonna get our first look kind of what's going on in there. exhaust of the motor is coming out of so the next thing I'm going to need to do is take loose these couple bolts and get that off and I should there's one of the seals I can see right there so let's go ahead and bust that loose what are those I'm gonna say that's probably about a 12 yeah, 13 I'll never get it on the first Never get it on the first try, right? All right. There we go. this hopefully you can there we go top and bottom bolts now is this gonna come off easy or are we gonna have a hard time here Twisty twist. There we have it. I come from the RC car background. Deal, dealt with a lot of, you know, little small engine rebuilds, differential rebuilds, and that spiral cut gear looks to be in very, very good shape. I don't see any abnormal wear, no chips taken off of it. So that's, that's good. I'm happy to see that. Now, where are we going to get after those seals? Ah, there we go. That's the prop hub. I'm gonna go. Doesn't look too bad. Eh, a little, might be a little burned in there. But everything's nicely coated. I like that. That's the seal. I'm curious how I'm going to get that booger out. I think I'm going to have to take my screwdriver. I get all that nastiness off there and probably give it a little tap. From this side, I would imagine. Yeah, I think I'm getting it. I'm go over here to this table. Get this a little bit closer. A 
washer that I definitely don't want to lose. Is coming out. Get some more paper towels here. 